The South Texas Environmental Education and Research Program, otherwise known as STEER, is a hands-on, face-to-face encounter with environmental health problems on the U.S.-Mexican border. This four-week elective is offered by the University of Texas Health Science Center at San Antonio. Students travel to the heart of one of the nation's fastest growing cities, Laredo, Texas. The course is offered several times a year. There's room for about six to ten adventurous students in each STEER course, and what they learn can't be taught in a book. Medical residents and students from medical school, nursing, public health, and other health professionals get a close look inside this city on the Rio Grande. When we bring the, the STEER students up here, we always like to start up here on the eighth level of the CPNL tower because it gives us a bird's eye view of Laredo, uh, the Mexican side, and the river that flows between them. Biologist Dr. Tom Vaughn says the demands on the Rio Grande are growing as Laredo and its sister city in Mexico, Nueva Laredo, attract more people and factories, or maquiladores. The growth is translated into a need to build more bridges to handle the explosive growth. Laredo is one of the oldest cities in the country, dating back to 1755. It also has been one of the poorest cities, with a severe shortage of health professionals. Students have a tremendous learning opportunity in a city that has opened its doors to the STEER program. You know, I think that the learning opportunities here you cannot find anywhere else. We give hands-on experiences. You get to wade in the river and collect microorganisms. It's just a phenomenal, phenomenal way to get an education. STEER students spend about 80% of their time outdoors or in the community, on location with professional instructors. Dr. Vaughn has students in the Rio Grande collecting samples and checking water quality. Tony Ramirez, an herbalist, shows students plants used for medicinal purposes in traditional healing. I, I periodically will get a, a prescription from a doctor with herbs and they, they'll, they'll send them here. Laredo's medical professionals face modern diseases such as HIV and diabetes and once forgotten diseases such as dengue fever and tuberculosis. In border medicine, um, we deal with things on a routine basis here that are actually very uncommon in a lot of our other communities in the United States. Rabies, tuberculosis, leprosy, things that we don't usually think of in medicine in a high-tech uh, medically sophisticated uh, country like the United States. But we see those things, we deal with those things, some of them on a daily basis. Students hike into the countryside to learn how coyotes spread rabies, a persistent health problem on the border. They learn the limits and demands on water treatment plants. Students meet the residents of Colonias and observe a different way of life a life without running water and flush toilets. 40,000 people live in Laredo's colonias. We're actually just about two blocks from the, bo from the river, and the river is a very large part of the uh, patient problems in this area. And I chose Laredo because I know that there's such a great need and the patients really are the ones that uh, will benefit from someone practicing out here. And there aren't a lot of options out here in the colonias. Students in the STEER program get academic credit. They can pursue graduate level research and many have joined recent projects to help children with asthma and residents with no running water. The program would not work without the commitment and involvement of Laredo's civic and health leaders. The community here has been wonderfully supportive and this could not have occurred without their help. Um, many of them teach in this course. We have a dozen different people from this community who teach in the course along with individuals from the San Antonio area from Houston and so on but it's the community people who really make this real. Dr. Gustavo Garcia Ramos practices in Laredo and he's lived on both sides of the river. Dr. Garcia Ramos had never been in the Rio Grande nor was he aware of the extent of its pollution until he participated 
in the steer cores. The fact that we were able to test the water for pollution from the upstream area and then downstream and compare the findings was uh, extremely interesting because we were able to prove all the differences that there are when, when the water just enters the, the city and after it leaves how contaminate, contaminated it is. For students, it's all about hands-on experience. They absolutely enjoy this uh, type of education, that in vivo, out in the real world, hands-on kind of stuff, you know, where they get to meet real people doing real jobs and learn what the real problems are in a community and how a community is coming together to try and uh, grapple with those problems. They, they enjoy it thoroughly. It's so different from sitting there in front of a textbook or being lectured to. Steer provides housing and transportation during class. And there's time to enjoy Laredo and Mexico. Laredo was once a part of Mexico and it retains much of its old world heritage. Its town square houses the historic San Augustine Church founded in 1767. Laredo's International Airport flies seven flags that represent the seven countries that have ruled Laredo. Nuevo Laredo's Mercado is a shopping magnet for tourists. Beyond the colorful shops, however, the two Laredos are critical shipping points under the North American Free Trade Agreement. Thousands of trucks and rail cars cross the border each day, and Laredo is now the busiest inland port in the United States. In this land of contrast, both Laredo and participating students have an opportunity to help each other. Over the last three years, I, I dare say we've We've met young people, uh, young residents from literally every state, both coasts, from the Midwest. We've seen uh, several from, uh, from China and from different parts of Africa also. And since, and since we're kind of out of the, off the beaten path, out of the way, I think it brings them into contact um, from, from a doctor's point of view, from a physician's point of view, with where the real challenges are in this country. Well, in any community you have environmental concerns or problems and we just try to bring light to the ones that we're presented with here in Laredo and they can take that information back with them. And if they, you know, start writing policy or the big picture is to try and get some more practitioners or healthcare professionals back to the border. But if, they're, if they don't come back and they're able to practice in other areas, at least they have a more conscious uh, knowledge of what goes on down here. Any student in medicine, nursing or public health would benefit from the STEER program. We found one of the biggest barriers to access to health care were uncaring health professionals. And I think what the STEER program does breaks down barriers, breaks down stereotypes, and people come here and they learn that their patients are individuals, regardless of their color, regardless of what language, and regardless of where they're from. And I think that's why this program is important. Each student has the chance to confront medical problems that they've only read or heard about. We have learned a lot of things that I, I didn't know about. Even living in El Paso, we were kind of sheltered in, in that we only get to see certain things from the TV, maybe the colonias and um, the river quality. We, I've heard about those things on TV, but I have never really understood how it impacted me so much. Even if, even if I don't live on the border, even if I'm in San Antonio, it's going to affect me. And, it should be important to the rest of Texas as well. The program's creator, Dr. Claudia Miller, says students who go through the course take with them experiences they'll find useful and will remember for the rest of their lives. If students have even a little interest in public health or community health, environmental health, international health, this helps them see the potential opportunities for practice. The course itself is closely allied with the health department in Laredo at the border. They go across the border and see what is happening in Mexico. It's like having an international experience without leaving home. They have wonderful housing and yet they have access to so much they can learn from. So it does help them see career opportunities that they couldn't see from other vantage points.